I'm Elizabeth Leeds, and I'm going to go through some exercises on the Total Gym regarding in exercises for rotator cuff. Now, in the blog, Shoulder Injury, How Total Gym Can Help, we talk about shoulder blade positioning and really the prep exercises that I start with anyone regarding a shoulder issue, whether it's rotator cuff, impingement, anything along those lines. So now the basis of this kind of next phase is taking movements where we were bent elbows and more into long arms. That's called increasing our lever length. You're gonna see me flow through a series of exercises in a multitude of positions on the total gym. And the focus is really the same exercise, but we're doing it in different body positions, preparing you for functionality of life. So you're gonna start on a lower lever, level rather, because we're gonna increase our levers. We're gonna lengthen out our arms. So we're gonna take our handles in our hands, we're going to start with the upright supine, rather on our back. And the first exercise is just your typical pullover. Now focusing here is starting to end mid-thigh versus here where your shoulders can roll forward, injuring the in rotator cuff or irritating it. As your arms go back, watch for elevation of the shoulders and just allow the arms to come back, keeping those shoulder blades pulling down and back. You'll do a few pullovers here. The recommendation is anywhere from 8 to 15, then turn your palms to face each other and just go right into shoulder adduction, forming a T-like position. Again, you're ending mid-thigh versus down by your hips. Now take this same movement pattern and you're going to go somewhere in between a pullover and a T and I call it the Y. It's also called the scapular plane. So you're about 45 degrees in the middle and you just do the same movement. Now your thumbs are somewhat up to the sky, palms facing each other. So from here, you just move right up to seated forward. And I'll tell you just to start with your feet on the floor to feel what it feels like for the resistance. Go to front shoulder raise. Now if you're feeling any irritation or if you're rounding, you can always do palm up if that feels a little bit better. Now stick with the thumbs up to the sky. Again, you're gonna go into that wide position. So somewhere between out to the side, 90 degrees, 90 degrees in front, about 45 degrees in the middle, moving into the wide position. Now from here, you're gonna take the handles in one hand, you're gonna turn yourself around, go right into seated backward, pulling straight back. Again, you're thinking about the shoulder blades sliding down the back. You can always go into alternating. Right from here, palms face each other, thumbs up to the sky, wide fly, arms up to the side like a T. We call this horizontal abduction. And then right from here, you can go into external rotation. Now place your feet on the floor and you're gonna just keep your elbows slightly below the shoulder to start. And then as you feel more comfortable, you can start to bring your arms up to the sides but eventually you really wanna change where you're doing this exercise to make it a little bit more functional versus always in that same elbow position. But start low below the shoulder and then eventually work your way up. Now from here, you're just gonna scoot yourself forward. I place my feet onto the rails, especially when I start with these exercises. Roll back and use your feet for self-spotting and do one arm at a time. Experience a full pain-free range of motion, that's key, pain-free. And then if you want to do both arms, just note you're only probably going to go to about 90 degrees. So you do a front shoulder raise and a side shoulder raise. And again, any mid thigh. And you can go right into biceps right from here. Now note that my arms aren't on the ground or rather on the glide board because that can put a little bit more shear on the shoulder or stress that are slightly above. I'm focusing on keeping my shoulders away from the ears. Then lastly, you roll up to sitting. Knuckle down, scoot yourself back, have your chest at the top edge of the glide board. Focus in on the shoulder blades again, sliding back and down. Moving right into shoulder extension. Out to the side, shoulder adduction. And just triceps. Your palms can face back, your palms can face in, your palms can face where you can vary how you're moving with this exercise and then knuckle down and come on up. So those are some ways just to focus in on how to strengthen up the shoulder joint, which hopefully will help prevent any rotator cuff injuries. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Leeds, and I'm gonna go through some exercises on the Total Gym regarding in exercises for rotator cuff. Now in the blog, Shoulder Injury, How Total Gym Can Help, 
We talk about shoulder blade positioning and really the prep exercises that I start with anyone regarding a shoulder issue, whether it's rotator cuff, impingement, anything along those lines. So now the basis of this kind of next phase is taking movements where we were bent